And it's time once again for Sarge Blotto's Hot Seat. Good evening. Once again, it's time for Sarge Blotto's Hot Seat. Tonight on the Hot Seat, <laughs> we are honored and proud and pleased to present, uh, what's your name? Harris Tweed of the no. Gary, no, Gary Window of the Gary Window Orchestra. Is that? That's me. That is indeed you. Yeah. Well, Checks but, out. Um, Gary Window you. has uh, previous, uh, actually, Gary Window has done immense amounts of uh, work as studio musician and touring musician for Everybody. many number of bands. Everybody in the world. Go ahead. Rattle off some names for us. Impress me. Um, Psychedelic Furs. Todd Rundgren, Ian Hunter, Pink Floyd, Soft Machine, Carla Bley, Tiny Tim. <laughs> Tiny Tim? I worked with Tiny Tim one night in a weird gig in the middle of winter. Carla called me up and said, uh, do you want to do this strange gig? There's a wild thing going on. And I said, what? Do you play with Tiny Tim? So it was him, his uh, musical um, director, the piano player. And... Uh, kind of looted out girl playing drums, a miss, I don't know, somebody, <laughs> and me. And you played um, horn? Yeah, yeah, on all kind of old stage things. So I'd look at the piano player's hands and cut the changes, and he was playing things like, if you don't know Susie, and something like that. It was great. <laughs> I had a wonderful time. Okay, everybody from Pink Floyd to Tiny Tim, Gary Windows done it, okay? Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter? Yeah. Susie Quattro. Oh, names from the past. Yeah, you know, you know. Susie Quattro, big TV star on uh, Leather Happy Days. Leather right? Tuscadero. Happy Days. Right. Yeah. Was that her name? Leather Tuscadero. Leather Tuscadero. Oh, boy, you know. Uh, Robert Wyatt. I have a Robert Wyatt album that you're playing on at uh, home. Yeah. Rock Bottom. Yeah, it was great. Oh, that was a lovely album. So, um, you've done like all kinds of things. Now you're. Is this your first band? Uh, first band that I've decided I was going to forego other things and consciously go for it. Shall I just look that way? Because <laughs> right? I was kind of looking at him, you know. No, don't pay no attention to the pay man. Pay no attention to the to man behind here, the no. shirt. No. That I decided that um, this would be the time to uh, go for it. I'm a good friend of mine, Hal Wilner, he's the music coordinator for Saturday Night Live. And he's been an advisor to me for a while, and he said, it's time now for you to get your own thing now and do it. So uh, after the last Psychedelic First tour, I... Um, look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I decided to uh, think about seriously getting a band together. So I'm living on this boat, and I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, went through a lot of uh, anguish, and then found the guys for my band by process of luck, elimination, and prayer. <laughs> well, why don't, you, well, yeah, why don't you tell us who's the rest of the people in your band? Well, and uh, and sort of the way sort, of, it, sort of where they where they're from or how you got together with okay, them. Okay, here's how it went. Um, Dave Buck, the trumpet player from the B-52s, was doing this gig in New York and asked me, would I get a band together for that night because he couldn't find anybody? And so I said, yeah, I know the very rhythm section, Paris Plus. I called them up and said, come down and jam. And they said, cool, you know, the drummer being my kid. They came down... Jamie. At, Jamie. And uh, Dave said, there's this guitarist called uh, Knox. He's going to come along and play with us. So Knox came into the club and I said, ah, that's the guy for me, before he'd even taken the guitar out of the case. Uh, Knox and it came turns down out to play with play, Paris to Plus? Play. Yeah, with us, all together. Paris Plus, were gonna, oh, we were just going to do see. this thing, oh, trumpet, tenor, and okay. all that. Uh -huh. And uh, um, Dave got borrowed a trumpet because he'd hocked his, he was in a bit of, you know. And uh, so we virtually took the gig over and... Uh, Knox was the guy for me. He was great and played beautifully. He is a wonderful guitar player. Oh, and a great sense of humor. Nice, you know, really strong person. And he suggested the bass player, Jack Robinson. And um, we played with Jack, and he's real simple, but 
he's strong. He likes to play rock and roll bass. He doesn't want to be a lead guitar player. And uh, we went through a couple of drummers, and then we found Mike Mansfield, the guy that's with us now. And he's, I like how you know, I like what he does. But also in the meantime, Anne Sheldon, who'd been uh, in the Furs with me, at the uh, after she'd done some like classical gigs and things that she wanted to do, I called her up and said, "Hey, Anne, you better come down and hear this. I think." you could really fit. She came down and she got really hyped about it and uh, decided that was the thing to do. And uh, so she joined and we rehearsed very um, strangely. And uh, <laughs> I was going to say hard. We did. We rehearsed hard, but uh, sort of strange because sometimes Anne will cry all through rehearsal. It's all right. You know, she's an emotional yeah. person. You know? I'm not yeah, getting it first, right. First, I'm not doing it right. You know. Because yeah, the first couple of times I saw you, I don't think Anne was there. W was with you. Yeah. That's right. The one at RPI, she wasn't, and then then uh, the next gig, she wasn't, and then the next gig, she was, but she wasn't. Yeah, uh, uh, right. Okay. But uh, she almost wasn't at yeah, Fest either. Yeah, <laughs> She's not, I'm looking for the bathroom, but that's when I was doing. So she, um, I mean, it just fitted, and the whole thing slotted together, and we started to do these um, shows. Um, we opened for the Furs last week in. The Warner Theatre in DC, and uh, standing ovation, screaming out for more. The first flip, the road crew put in a petition; they only want us to open for them. So we're going to do some more shows with them. By the time this show probably goes out, we'll have done some more shows. This will be in retrospect. What? What? Uh, all right. Um, how do you? Just what would you? What kind of music do you, would you call what you're doing? Rock a rock a pop a metal delic. <laughs> I asked. Didn't I? Right. I asked, and he told me. All right. It's just a thing we said one day. But I mean, it's it's like I've played with um, you know the people that I've played with. So it goes from um, Tiny Tim to Pink Floyd, and that includes like you know Carla Blaine, the right. New York Jazz Composers Orchestra, and with uh, Brotherhood of Breath. You weren't on Escalator Over the Hill, right? No, now. I was on uh, European Tour '77 and Music Mechanic and more movies. Movies, and yeah. um, fictitious sports, Nicky Mason. Right. Nick Mason's and that was the whole. The thing is, so my music is, you know, I mean, I've been playing a horn for 28 years. I started playing when I was uh, two, right? right. One, <laughs> one, right okay. Earlier than that, right? Or even earlier. In fact, I Adolf Sax actually gave me my first right, saxophone. Right, right. Right. He gave you his saxophone. He gave right. me his saxophone that he was working on. Right. Uh, and uh, so my musical background has, has, has been extremely diverse. And I try to encompass that with Anne's classical training. She played with um, the symphony orchestra up here and Cleveland Symphony, I think it was. And Knox, who originally comes from Louisville but was brought up partly in England, whose father's a scientist and... Uh, just, he works on uh, the motor mechanisms in frogs' legs. Oh, God, God. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, so, you know, to encompass that, and Jack, who's a hard in, in, in Trench Lower East Side, I'm going to stay in New York forever. You know, right. uh, concrete over everything. I've got to right, right, right. rip those trees down, <laughs> concrete the lot. Um, here, you know, and and Mike, who's a, the drummer, who's a very energetic young, you know, guy, who's just like calls me every day, what are we doing, what are we doing, yeah. where are we going? What's going like, on now? What's going on now, hey! <laughs> it's like, and uh, to encompass that inside the music, which had... Uh, it, it, and make it work, so the personalities are so important, it, much more important than the, than the actual music itself in the formation of it. I find that the musicians that I work with produce the music. I let them go. I let them, you know... I say, well, we've got this sound that we recognise now. That we work towards, we work towards this kind of overall sound. But it comes from originally from the recognition of the sounds that the people make. I don't say to Knox, please play like this. I say, well, if Noxy plays like this, I want it to sound this this tune we're working on now. I say, Noxy, that's not quite got what you, it's not quite happening like you would do it. And he goes, Oh, you mean like you know, I try to make the music so we had a song and it's like you play it and it's like this, it's like a blue thing, and you play it and we play it and it kind of almost ruin the song. Just take it, tear it, tear it, tear it to extremes. pieces until it yeah. really just, just, you know, goes. You know, I was going to do impersonations of everybody in the That's band, right, wasn't sure. it? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to do that a little yeah, later. Can, yeah, sure, I'll impersonate right. everybody in the band. I'll All do right. one of our songs. 
Uh, live, me only. Uh, we'll be back for more from Gary Window and Sarge Blotto later on in tonight's program. But now.